Hi and welcome. Today we're going to show how to get started with WebSocket development on Diego's EAP 6.3. A step-by-step -step guide and the code for this demo is available on GitHub. Step 1 is to download the latest Diego's EAP release. In this demo, we're going to use Diego's EAP 6.3 beta. When the download has finished, we can move on to step 2, which is installing Jabos EAP 6.3. So, all we have to do is to unzip the download package into a suitable directory. In this case, I'm going to use temp directory. When that is done, we're ready for step 3. In step 3, we'll start Jabos EAP 6.3 by executing the standalone.shell script execution that exists under the bin directory. It will start in a few seconds and without any errors. In step 4, we open an IDE environment and I'm already prepared for the Maven project. And I also configured the Maven settings to point at the Jabos repositories. More information about this is available on my blog. In step 5, we need to change the packaging type to Web Archive. And We do this by adding this line to the POM file. In step 6, we add the necessary dependencies for this project. And in step 7, we add a couple of build plugins to help with the web archive packaging. In step 8, we need to add the Java class that will be our WebSocket endpoints. Uh, we call this Hello Endpoints. So the source code for this is on GitHub. You can also uh, copy it from the step-by-step -step guide. In step 10, we'll build everything using Maven to make sure that everything is correctly configured. So I'm going to use command line for this. And as you can see, everything built successfully. So we can move on to the next step. Now we're ready to add the client side code for this WebSocket demo. So first thing I'll do is copy the HTML code we're going to use. And then I go into my IDE again and I create the file. In this case, we're going to call it index.html. And we're going to replace its content with the content I just copied. So, this concludes the, the development of the demo application, but let's first build it to make sure that everything builds fine again. So, to be able to deploy and run this on the Airbus EAP, we need to do some configuration changes as well. So, one of the things we need to do, or the only thing we need to do, is to replace the connector. In this case, I'm going to use the NIO connector. I'm going to use a plugin to apply the configuration changes needed. So, I add this plugin to the Maven build. And that concludes the first step of the configuration. Using this plugin, we can apply the configuration changes to Jabos with the Maven command called Jabos as colon execute commands. This will directly execute and reload the changes without having to restart the container. Now we're ready to deploy this, and we can use the same plugin for this with the goal deploy. And after this, we can make sure that the VSD model var build successful and deploy successfully to the container. Now we're ready to test this. So let's open up a browser and point it to our demo application. Let's open a connection. And in this connection, we'll send Thomas1 as message and response is Thomas1. Hello, Thomas1. And let's try this from another browser. We open up Chrome and we point it to the same URL. And we open up another connection and we write Thomas2 in this one. 
let's um, use say hello and the response receives hello Thomas and we can then go back and send another message and still receive Thomas one and now we can close the connection so and this is what we'll see on the server side logs that concludes our demo on WebSockets on the Airbus EAP3 beta more information about this demo and resources for this demo etc you'll find on my blog Thank you very much.